Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Bears Wines and Spirits review. Apologies for people watching live. I've disabled the chat on this one, so I wanted to get through it quickly. So we, because it's a beer that deserves um, beer chat in the, in the next video. So anyway, this is from Fire Rock Brewing Company out of Sutton in Ashfield and Bang the Elephant out of Langley Mill, both craft beer breweries. The interesting thing for this is uh, their first ever collaboration between the two breweries, The Call of the Chitulu, if that's how you pronounce it. Um, a Rocky Road Imperial Stout. 14%, so it's a big beer. It says here, 14%, the creature lies dormant beneath the black infinite seas, waiting for its moment to awaken, rise and drag you down into the darkness below, smothering you in layers of dark roasted chocolate, hazelnut, pecan, vanilla and toasted marshmallow. So yeah, 14%. Ooh. Could be a fruity beer, but here we go. So I'm going to peel this off, or I'm going to try to peel this off. I've never had much success with this stuff. Uh, give me shades of Ninkazi. Anybody knows what happened on the Ninkazi video? Didn't turn well. So hopefully that's it. It's like it's like a little video, how not to open a bottle um, with wax on. So hopefully I won't cut myself and end up in A&E. &E. Oh, daft. I'll start biting the lid because I can't get it off. There must be a proper way of doing this. Yeah. And I'm gasping for a beer. I haven't had a beer since 12 o'clock. I've been out to watch the new um, Doctor Strange film. That was, it was good. It was very complicated in places. So, using the new Fire Rock merch from yesterday. For those watching now and in the future, I'll crack this open first. I'm going to have a sniff to see how it cooks. I know this is amazing because... I've been told it is by the good people, Liam and Shane from the Bear Review community, who've both been to the Fire Rock um, tap room, brewery bar, whatever you call it, craft, craft bar. And, uh, oh, look at that. It's like mo like good imperial stats. So you get little to no head, black pour, nice tan colour to it. Oh, those elements, the pecan. That comes to, to you first. So Rocky Road Imperial Stout. Oh, smells amazing. 14% on a work tomorrow. Could be an interesting time at work. Thankfully. I've got plenty. I've got a few hours before I need to worry about work. Oh. Now, when a beer is special. I'm like a lot of beer reviewers. You get a smile on your face when you're drinking a beer. It gives the game away already that you like it. This is one of them beers that puts a smile on your face. The massive news. Bang the Elephant came to Nottingham Craft Beer Festival last year. Got in late on, given literally a few days notice. I think Wylan pulled out and a few other factors. Um... They jumped in last year, stormed the beer festival. The great thing is this year, they're back. Empress Brewery is actually joining them. And also joining them are these fellas. They've got a place at the Nottingham Craft Beer Festival. I couldn't be more happy for both of the blokes, you know, uh, both the brewers, because Danny and Neil, I had to remember the names for a second. I'm crap with names. But, uh, yeah, Nottingham Craft Beer Festival. This should be making itself, making its way to the beer festival. So if you don't snag one of these bottles, they may well be sold out at Fire Rock. So check the website out. Locally, Left Field Beer, um, Adventure Beer and Kimberly Craft Ales will also be having this. But like I say, it's going to be a first come, first served at all those shops. Um, and stunning it is. That is dangerously Moorish. Absolutely hitting the spot. 
toasted marshmallow, pecan. The elements I said a bit ago are all in it. I do apologize for people watching that. I didn't put the chat on. I wanted to get through this review, do a good review, get it over and done with, and come back with another fire what review and put the chat back on. But um yeah, I might have to save some of this for later so I don't get I don't get ill and start drinking it and falling on my back. But that's a stunner. It looks good, smells good, tastes good. It's no, it's no quick beer review with this. You know, this is one of them beers that you need about half an hour to, to sup it um, properly. Hence why doing two reviews, splitting this into a um, video, beer review only, next one into more of a beer chat. And I'll be coming back with this anyway in that video uh, and doing comp comparison between this and the Mardi Bum uh, collab, another collab from Firefox. So doing well with their collabs. They've also got a collab with Urban Chicken Ale coming soon. Urban Chicken Ale from Ilkeston, Darren, uh, one of the top rated brewers, brewers in the country. And uh, if you know his beers, you'll know they are excellent. The micro pubs around that area know this. That's why it never get, it hardly ever gets to bit any big pubs because it's already sold out. They know their stuff. So yeah, that's another. Um, Collaboration that's coming soon, and uh, funnily enough, um, I would I have got some to do a, a, like a sneak peek taster review of what's coming. The kind the lads kindly let me have a bit yesterday just to review that. So all oh, firework at the moment, They're doing well. Good to see them at Nottingham Craft Beer Festival, and uh, wow, this is strong, fourteen percent. Whoa, you really can feel it. And that now I know what Shane and Liam were saying. I've got to say, both these breweries, everything they touch is turned into gold. And uh, I think, along with the likes of Alter Ego and Urban Chicken, the Nottingham craft beer scene is exploding. You know, it's not all about one or two breweries now. There's a lot of good breweries out there. Oh, Long-lasting flavour on the back end as well. That is absolutely stunning. Um, a bit of tobacco just come in there as well at the end. Tobacco in a nice way, you know, don't get me wrong. Um, it's a complex, it's a stunning Imperial Stout. Obviously, I didn't get to drink it on keg. Uh, getting up to Sutton Nashville was a bit of a trek for me. Uh, like yesterday, I drove up. But um, let's get it on keg. And... Um, the releasing bottles is one of them reasons why I got my backside up there. Said to the wife, we're going up there. So I did my gardening, shot straight up, had a chat with the lads, great to see the lads, great brewers. You know, it's not always just about the beer of breweries. It's about the people behind the scenes, the brewers. These guys, they work all week, go and do the brewing, go and look after a bar. What legends, absolute legends. And no wonder. Where it is in Sutton Ashfield, it's a credit to that area. Should tell you, absolute credit. If if they brought that to Nottingham, it'd be stunning. Obviously, logistics. But uh, yeah, for me, beer of the year already. Yeah, absolute storming beer. If you're down at Nottingham's Craft Beer Festival, or you can get it from Leftfield Beer, Adventure Beer, Kimberly Craft, or if there's any left at Fire Rock, get yourself some. Ooh, that needs a rebrew, I reckon, you know, lads, I reckon. So, out of five for me, a good 4.67 out of five. Yeah, absolutely stunning. Possibly my best year, my best beer, rather, this year. And that's good, we're five months into the year. Wow. And that's it for this beer review. Thank you for everyone watching. I do apologise for no chat. I'm going to come back in about two minutes put the chat option back on and I've got the Mardi Bum brew so that's that's good as well that's a, a strong beer that I've had a couple of times and I wanted to re-review it just to give it and see how it's see how it's aged it has aged always a good thing remember Imperials age don't go out of date thank you for watching cheers everyone see you in about three minutes not take me long cheers <laughs>